Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Here is iMovie 11, released today as a part of the iLife 11 suite, available for about a $50 upgrade. Of course, iLife comes with all new Mac computers. New in iMovie 11, uh, a lot, actually, uh, but in terms of what I'm probably going to be using the most, that's what I'm going to be spending most of the time on the screencast with you. So first, uh, I'm going to show you the new project pane. Uh, of course, you're familiar with some of these themes, but now we have news and sports as a, a theme uh, for your new projects. And then movie trailers. Now, I'm not actually going to get into uh, the movie trailers uh, part because I don't have a lot of footage uh, that I have on hand uh, to share. Uh, I may assemble something as an iMovie uh, demonstration at some point in the near future of uh, you know a movie trailer theme. Uh, of course, you're likely already familiar with how simple it is to use iMovie in general. Uh, in, if you were one of uh, those who loved iMovie HD, which I happen to need to use the other day to process audio inside a video, I think you're going to appreciate um, some of the uh, other additions, specifically with the audio processing that they've added in uh, iMovie 11. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into that now. If you didn't see, I have a waveform, a live waveform, right underneath the video here. Uh, for this particular project. I can scrub as usual. Uh, I can also take the waveform and adjust it in line so I can increase or decrease the volume. But what is most interesting for me, if I go into the clip adjustments, there's the familiar video effect panel. You've seen this before and of course uh, shows you live in real time uh, the changes. Same with audio now. So you saw that video that I did before, uh, and you uh, heard it in a, a way that the audio had already been processed. So the regular audio is muffled. I could muffle it further, change it to robot, cosmic, echo, telephone, shortwave radio, multitone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you could change the pitch down, pitch it up. Basically, a lot of effects. Uh, and what I ended up doing inside another video editor was adjusting the audio uh, further with an equalizer. Uh, and so I can now do that inside of iMovie 11. Going to go ahead and boost the treble, take down uh, the bass tones, and theoretically, if I'm playing it by hitting space, I can hear the change in real time. Perfect. I can now also reduce the background noise, uh, adjusting that slider. Uh, that may have been something available in earlier versions of iMovie, but I really didn't use iMovie, uh, well, at least earlier versions to edit audio. Now I at least can because the tool is available. Uh, another area where they've really uh, boosted features inside of iMovie 11, uh, you know, beyond the great stabilization features, uh, which, you know, were around before, uh, they have now made it easier to. Uh, particularly uh, take a, a, a like let's say a sample of a video select it and then with that clip uh, you could add a, a simple effect in line uh, fast forward slow motion instant replay uh, rewind a, a jump cut at the beat markers if I had set them uh, fading to uh, in a different uh, set of special effects including flash and hold last frame um, and uh, I will let's see here if I'm gonna use one of these Let's go ahead and show you how something like this works. Let's do instant replay at 50%. It processes it immediately, places it in line, so. So what it did there was it automatically inserted the instant replay. Then of course it, it also had a, a little logo here uh, uh, in the uh, upper right hand corner, uh, which is kind of nice. Now if you happen to like uh, the classic view uh, where you're able to scroll horizontally with your video's timeline, you can do that just as well. Uh, one iMovie tip that uh, many of us have uh, shared with you in the past, uh, when you open up the preferences, make sure you're showing the advanced tools, uh, allowing for keyword controls, toolbar cutaways, picture-in-picture uh, -picture green screen, etc., etc. Uh, those are uh, good uh, features to uh, toggle at any point uh, that you're caring to edit. Uh, you can toggle the waveform by simply pressing that icon, 
And of course, you know you can zoom in or out on the uh, timeline uh, by uh, moving that slider. Of course, you could add audio, photos, text, your transitions, and then, of course, all your maps, backgrounds, and animatics uh, if you wanted to. Uh, it's all available right here. Um, you know, they've also added uh, something where you, you could analyze for stabilization. Now you can analyze video for stabilization and people. And uh, where people comes into play uh, s specifically, you can identify a face within a video. Uh, and when you're going to build the movie trailers, it will ask you for, you know, who's this person, and then it will automatically go and find other parts of that video that have that same person's face. Uh, you could also mark the camera pans if uh, that happens to be something that's inside the uh, clip uh, in your event library, which is kind of nice. Uh, all the other things that uh, you've likely seen before, uh, there's the information again. Uh, you can go in and crop. You can edit your Ken Burns effects. You can fit a particular video. You've got the narration or voiceover component that still exists. Uh, there's the keyword tool. Uh, you can auto apply, there's the inspector, yada yada yada. I really don't use iMovie to manage uh, video editing libraries. It's usually just for one off things, like I need to edit audio for any kind of uh, Stormtrooper video that I do. And the easiest way to do it now is within iMovie 11. So I was very happy uh, to see that particular feature added. Uh, so, quick, easy, one click applying effects for audio and video, uh, like automatic effects like slow motion, instant replay, uh, people finder, um, you've got the ability to uh, navigate, well, uh, pretty much any one of the videos that you have on your system, including the ability to import. Uh, you've likely seen a lot of this stuff before. Uh, iMovie just keeps getting better, at least over iMovie HD, and I would consider the addition of the, uh, um, part in particular, sorry, that's kind of loud, um, the addition of the audio effects uh, have really made this, uh, you know, something that is definitely better than iMovie HD. Uh, and I can't tell you uh, how long I've been waiting for uh, those audio effects to come within iMovie. So there you go. I would say it's a thumbs up. Uh, you know, certainly if you have a Mac, you already have iMovie installed because iLife comes with. Uh, Max, but if you're curious uh, to know whether or not you should be upgrading, uh, my suggestion is absolutely yes. Uh, I think that uh, the uh, the addition of the audio editor uh, and how easy it is to fade in and out and adjust audio makes this uh, a really good video editor. Finally, gets a thumbs up from me. My email address chris at perillo.com. If you have any iMovie tips to pass along, maybe you have your own screencast, your own uh, thoughts, you can leave as a video response. Cool. Uh, sorry if my Ask Stormtrooper videos annoy you. I don't think I'm going to, to stop anytime soon because even if the regular old community doesn't like it, I've got a new regular old community that's starting to like it. So <laughs> there's a lot of you to keep happy, and I'm doing my best. Uh, it's geeky. You know, Star Wars, it's, that's not geeky for you, really? All right, geeks.perillo.com may have something for you. Twitter.com slash Chris Perillo, Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. Then, of course, uh, we also have the live video feed uh, where sometimes you can see me wearing my Stormtrooper costume. And uh, we're geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.